Hey guys, Kingsley here, also known as M. Thank you very much for tuning in to episode 21 of King's Tutorials. And this episode, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install the Better Questing Standard Expansion mod for Minecraft 1.11.2, and we're going to be installing it using Forge. So the first thing you guys are going to want to do is go over to the first link in the description down below, which should take you to files.minecraftforge.net, and more specifically, the download page for Minecraft Forge 1.11.2. I've currently downloaded the latest version of Minecraft Forge, which in my case is version 2259. I've also downloaded the Windows based installer of Minecraft Forge by pressing on the installer win button right here. I'd recommend you download this version as well if you are on a Microsoft Windows operating system. However, if you aren't on a, on a, on a, on a, however, if you aren't on a Windows operating system, I'd recommend you download the standard Java installer by pressing on this button right here. So once you've downloaded Minecraft Forge, go over to the second link in the description down below, which should take you to the better questing page in Curse. Go over to other downloads and download the latest version that's currently available for Minecraft 1.11.2. In my case, it's version 226. You can just press on the file name right here, and this will download the the uh, better questing mod for you. Once you've downloaded the better questing mod, go over to the third link in the description down below, which should take you to the better questing standard standard expansion uh, page. Go well, once again to go to other downloads and download the latest version that's currently available for game version 1.11.2. And in my case, it's version 132, so I can press on the file name right here and download this mod as well. So once you download both files, drag them, I mean all three files, drag them onto your desktop or somewhere where you can access them and then open up Minecraft. Well, once you've opened up Minecraft, go over to Launch Options, press, uh, make sure you've enabled Advanced Settings right here, press on Add New. Then you can name this Minecraft 1.11.2. Go over to the version drop down uh, button right here. If you press that and then select release 1.11.2 as well, press save and then go back over to news. We can now select the brand new profile we've just created but by pressing on the profile selection button right here. And then selecting the brand new profile we've just created which in this case is Minecraft 1.11.2. And then press play once we've selected the profile. And if this is your first time launching Minecraft 1.11.2, you will download and uh, set up this profile for you. Okay, as you can see, Minecraft has been successfully loaded for Minecraft 1.11.2. We can now press quick game and begin to install Forge. So, if you open up Forge, that you that, that, the one that you downloaded earlier, then select uh, install client. Make sure this is also ticked. And then if you've previously moved your Minecraft directory elsewhere, you can press on this button right here to relocate it. But by default, your Minecraft directory should be located in app data roaming then dot minecraft so once you're ready to install forge press ok this will download and install a profile onto your minecraft client which we will now open up so you should receive this message right here S simply press ok then open up minecraft again once minecraft opens up we're going to go over to launch options and then as you can see a brand new profile has been created called forge right here uh, and it's using the version uh, release 1.11.2-forge which should always be located at the very bottom of this list. So press save and go back over to news uh, and then if you press on your profile selection button right here then select the brand new profile the, the brand new profile forge has just created then press play this will set up forge for us. Alright as you can see five mods have been loaded Zero child mods is completely normal by the way and Minecraft Forge has been successfully installed We can now press quick game and install both of these mods So if you hold the Windows key on your keyboard and press R this will open up run and here you're gonna want to type in percent app data percent forward slash dot Minecraft I've left this command in the description down below so you guys can just copy paste it into your run So once you've uh, so once you've either typed it in or you've pasted it in into run press OK And this should take you directly to your Minecraft directory then go over to the brand new folder that's been just been created by Minecraft Forge called Mods. Drag in both of these files and I'm going to launch the game and show you guys that, that the mod has been successfully installed. Okay. Once again, make sure you've still got the Forge profile selected. Press play. Okay, Minecraft Forge has been successfully uh, loaded. There we go. And as you can see, we have 7 mods loaded now instead of 5 as well. The better questing and standard expansion mod has been installed successfully. And once again, zero child mods is completely normal, don't worry about that. We can now go into single player and create a brand new world and I can show you guys that the mod does indeed work just fine. Okay, Minecraft has loaded up the world. 
can now go over to the second page and as you can see the better quest team mod has been successfully installed. So thank you very much for watching this video guys, I hope this has helped you out. If it has, make sure you guys leave a like and a comment down below. Let me know if it did work, if it didn't work, let me know in the comment section down below and also I'll try to help you out as best as I can if your Minecraft crashed for whatever reason. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video once again. I hope to see you guys in another one of my videos. Goodbye.